name is Timothy Bradley, and you're watching Ski TV, baby. Uh, I started boxing when I was 10 years old. How a friend of mine was doing it. Uh, we used to always slap box in school, and uh, I was always quicker than him. Even though he boxed, I was always so, so able to hit him. So uh, I begged my dad for uh, a few a few months, and uh, he finally took me down to the boxing gym, man, and I never looked back. The most difficult part about boxing is just staying focused. Staying focused all the way through. The difficult part about being a champion is, is that you got a big target on your back and everybody wants your spot. So you always gotta be ready mentally, physically, and prepare spiritually every time out. A uh, piece of advice is, is uh, first you gotta realize that it's a dangerous sport. The next thing you gotta realize that it's a lot of hard work and a lot of sacrifice. So for me, it's easy because I was talented. Very talented, you know what I mean? It was like natural. And uh, all I did was just feed my talent. So I just fed my skills and that was it. And, and, and that's how I got to the top. What makes me stand out is basically what I do in the ring, pretty much. I, I don't know if it's respected enough, but uh, people know I can fight, but they don't realize what I do in the ring. I'm a well-rounded fighter. Uh, there's not one thing that you can point out and say that I'm really good at. You really can you just say, man, he, He's very athletic, he gets the job done. I can brawl, I can box, uh, I can trade with the best of them. I got a pretty good, pretty good chin and I got a tremendous amount of stamina. Any boxer in the past, who would I fight? I would have to fight my man. One of, one of the guys I idolize is Hagler. Marvelous Hagler. He's one of the guys I idolize. I know he's bigger than I am, but uh, I would love, because I love his heart and, and his will, his will to win. And he kind of reminds me of my story. You know, not a lot of people gave him a lot, of, a lot of credit, but he kept beating the top guys in the world over and over and over. And uh, he didn't get that big, big uh, spotlight like uh, Hearns and, uh, you know, Hearns had a huge spotlight. And uh, also, uh, who else? Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray was on commercials and, I mean, he's doing all kind of stuff. So, I was, I would fight Hacker. What am I gonna say? People are gonna care about like they don't care. My first attitude was like they don't care about me. They care about the artist. Like, so what can I say to sort of engage them? And it just came out well uh, when all the pieces come together. You know that's what it's about. And when you know from the beginning of the album, you know from Richest Gangster to the you know the end of the album, walking on air to the bonus tracks.